What are we doing? Wow, uh, we're flying to Mammoth. For what? What? <laughs> the Mammoth Trail Fest. Yeah, yeah. Me, me, me. I get to do Dragon Back and then cheer loudly for the Tapes Babes. Girls Weekend. Okay, well, with Tabor off at Mammoth Trail Fest, I am here with the injured dog, uh, making sure he's okay, making sure he gets his drugs on time. Um, but now I have the opportunity to try to climb a mountain that I want to climb for a very long time. So, my mission is to get to the top of Eagle's Nest. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. I will have a zoom on here. It's right there. We're somewhere between Reno and Mammoth, and it was raining, but it also was snowing. You can see it. Friday morning. It is 34 degrees. The Hi. sun is shining and we're taking mom to the dragon's back. Here we are. Yeah. Getting ready. Ready to climb the dragon's back. Yeah. yeah. Going up there. <laughs> Post run, pastries, and coffee. Yeah, yeah. Cheers to a great race for mom. Woo. All right, so ideally, we're going to the top of that thing. Well, it's looking like it's gonna be a nice day so far. It's supposed to rain in like a few hours, so we'll see if it actually happens, but we're, here's where we are. We are here. Gonna go follow the trail, go up all the way to up Cataract, and then I'm gonna hop off the trail here, see if I can follow this ridge all the way up to the peak here. See if it works. All right, I'm cold. I'm leaving. The leaves are nice. The air is cold, though. Could go without that. Look at this nonsense. They probably added like a mile onto my my approach. That's the trail. What was the trail, I should say. So I'm going this way now. I get that it's for sustainability, but you're making my already long approach even longer, trail crew. All right. I'm not sure you guys are ready for this, but this is like one of my favorite mountain reveals in the state. It just looks so good. I've been running in the woods for like an hour, like dense forest, can't see anything. And all of a sudden, here we go. Ooh, almost fell. Ready for it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Go ahead and try and tell me that's not like one of the prettiest mountains you've ever seen. All right. So first objective, so we're gonna go across here, past the lake, we're gonna get up on this ridge. And try to go boop, 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 boop. Okay, we're back on the gondola for day two. But this time, instead of mom racing, or obviously me racing, we're gonna go crew for Chris Meyer. Woohoo, let's do it, let's do it. Crew. That makes good sense. You see the ID Tabor. Yep. Alright. Oh, the other direction here. That was a high five to Tabor Hemming.
helped crew him at the All summit. Right. What what are you doing, Chris? Oh, he's pretending he's cramping. Nice work, Chris. So and it may be All right. I believe. There's my ridge. <laughs> All of my nice runnable single track is gone. It's just steep ravine moving relatively quickly. I mean, probably faster than I did at the end of OCC, so. But it's not saying much. So kind of funny story about how dumb Tabor and Eli are. The first time we were trying to climb this mountain, didn't look at all about like how other people climbed it. We were just like, oh yeah, mountain, go to the top of it. And it's not really one of those mountains you just like easily go to the top of. So we kind of ran from where I started, which is like over, over here-ish. Ran up and over. You can see this little lake down here. We tried to traverse this huge boulder field that starts at the lake all the way down there and comes all the way up here. It took like probably two and a half hours of just like, I don't even know, like climbing, crawling through random boulder fields. Like those, those are big boulders. I like that boulder. That is a nice boulder. And by the time that we got anywhere near, anywhere that we could actually climb to the top, it turned around because of the weather. So, you know, moral of the story, if you're actually trying to get to the top of a mountain, especially in the Gore Range, you should probably look, does your route actually go up to the top? Because ours didn't. It's kind of loose. Okay, to the top bridge. I think I gotta go up there though. Oop. I found this cairn. Big old thing. I assumed that was the top. I don't know. Is do you think that one's as high as this one? I don't know, maybe I should go over to it just in case. I'd hate to get all the way up here and not be at the top. Well, now that I'm over here, I definitely think that one's the top. I don't think this one's the top. I don't see any signs of topness. I feel like that Karen on the other side. Yeah, that looks taller. That's the top. I was already at the top. I'm going back. Spend a couple minutes because so far we got zero clouds building. There's a few over there, but ignore those. Yeah, it's a perfect day. Okay, I spent a few minutes up here. I'm cold, I'm going back down. Kind of big scree to be doing that. <laughs> it's a little loose. People ask why the gore range is dangerous. Well, it's because nothing sticks to itself. It's all just loose rock. You're miles away from people. Yeah, it's real safe. So that nice clean route that I went up on the to get to the ridge. I can't find it on the way down, that's for damn sure. Made it back to the car. Now I'm going back to hang out with muffins. It's race morning. It's gorgeous outside. It's like 41, so it's the warmest it's been. And yeah, mom and I are just packing up the Airbnb because we have to be checked out by the time we leave for the race. And so, yeah, just getting ready. We got my bag, we got our stuff. So, it's the last time I check in.
Yeah, I was going to say, David, she won Mont Blanc on the, on the back of her jacket. wasn't diluted but that also means that we'll probably get to the airport 20 minutes before we board so that should be fun i'll let you know if we made the flight what did we do what did we what what did we do <laughs> we made it we made it <laughs> it wasn't that long apart to be honest no. it was like what you dropped me off on a thursday but i was home on a sunday so it wasn't like an eternity and you and Muffins both survived. We did. So yeah, we did survive. That was... And I got to the top of the mountain that I've been trying to get to for like three, four years now. So yeah. Great and success. I podiumed at a Golden Trail, so like, I would say it was a pretty good weekend apart. It was a good weekend apart. Yeah, so to recap, uh, went to Mammoth, as you saw in the video, but I guess we didn't really say how I did. I was fifth, which was awesome for how I felt. <laughs> I definitely think... OCC never have done a run that hard and that far and then had as in the last video you saw stress of muffins sickness coming back that speed was a shock to the system like wow yeah you weren't trained for that no and yeah. I felt we that. trained we trained for OCC we didn't train for Mammoth Trail Fest but it was still fun I still wanted to like go out shoot my shot see what I could do and yeah it's always fun running fast not that I was running like that fast comparative to the field, but I was happy to get on the podium for the first time in a super stats field of women and yeah, really battled it out out there. Yeah. And, and a good battle to the line for that fifth place. Yeah, I got it, it Lauren was... Gregory like right at the finish practically, and there were like these stairs, and then it was like pavement into the finish, but it was like 300 meters, and she made it to the final in the 5k at trials and all I was thinking was don't out sprint me and I was running so hard to not get out sprinted because all I could think of is track runner behind me I've lost my track legs long ago <laughs> and Still there. yeah now I'm back home and you were safe and had a good time and Muffins is recovering on the mend, on the mend. and it was um yeah, it was weird not having you there, but... Definitely. It was weird watching the live stream. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, thanks. It was... Uh, also, thank you for good. all the people, if any of you are watching, that cheered on the top of Mammoth Mountain. It was so loud and so incredible, and it made me feel very loved and helped me not to drop out at the top. <laughs> okay, we out.